As the world rallied Saturday to protest against the pending execution of Sakina Mohammadi Ashtiani on grounds of adultery, inside Iran, human rights attorney Mohammad Mustafai, the man who championed her cause and the cause of so many others like her on death row, apparently found himself summoned to Evin prison. The Ashtiani case, with its worldwide attention, it seems, had also turned the spotlight on Mustafai. Human rights advocate Mina Ahadi, herself forced to flee a death sentence in Iran nearly three decades ago, says the Iranian government is putting pressure on Mustafai and his family to prevent him from speaking out about the Ashtiani case. Last week, Mr. Mustafai received a summons that within three days he must report to Evan Prison. He went there on Saturday and was interrogated for four hours by the authorities in Evan Prison. He left Evan Prison and went to his office, where he received a call from the Iranian authorities to return to Evan Prison. He didn't go, and that evening, the authorities came to his office and arrested his wife and his brother-in-law. They have been told that if Mr. Mustafai presents himself, they will be released. Mustafai told CNN in July he'd been imprisoned once in the post-election turmoil in 2009, so he knew the risk of speaking out for the sake of Ashjani, but said that risk wouldn't deter him from fighting for human rights in Iran. Now, with word of Mustafai's family in Evin prison and his whereabouts unknown, human rights groups are again calling on the international community to speak out and speak up. I think it is a very dangerous situation for Mr. Mustafai. If he were to present himself, he might receive 10 to 15 years in prison. I think we must put pressure on the Islamic regime so that his wife and brother will be released. So far, there's been no comment from Iranian officials on the detention of Mustafai's relatives or reports that they've issued a warrant for his arrest. Meantime, Sakina Mohammadi Ashtiani, the mother of two at the center of the stoning controversy, whose name Mustafai has fought so hard to clear, sits in prison in Tabriz and waits to learn her fate. Jonathan Mann, CNN, Atlanta.